So let's just take a look at the rest of this program. We're going to find some really interesting functions in here. So here's setup. You recall setup runs once. And there is a really important function inside setup here called pin mode. So if you recall, the pins on the microcontroller are how they interact with the outside world. And we can access those pins through the headers on the Arduino board, right? If we want them to be inputs, we need to use this pin mode function to set them as inputs. If we want those pins to be outputs, like turning on an LED, we need to set those pins to be outputs. And the way we do that is in setup because it only needs to happen once. And we use this function called pin mode. Now you should notice that pin mode is a function, right? Because it's got a name and then it's got these open, opening and closing parentheses. You also notice that it changes to a specific color and this means that it's an Arduino specific function. It's like a special function that Arduino is using. And pin mode takes two values. It's said that you pass in values to this function. The first value is LED. So what was LED? Well, that's a variable name. And we had set it equal to nine. So we're passing the value nine to pin mode. And then we have a comma. And then we're passing this keyword output. And what this is telling the Arduino is, hey, pin nine on that microcontroller needs to be set as an output. That way it can source voltage. So pin mode, super important Arduino function.